Hello, my name is Michael, KE4EST on Satellite Guys. And about a month ago or so, I was asked by Brian Gull of Satellite AV to review one of his 1.2 meter dishes and his dual DRO LMB, which you can see is on the dish right here. So I'm kind of just here, there's the dish. Why am I zoomed in so far? There you go, there it is. Um, and instead of doing like a typed up review, most people type it up. And they say, hey, I got it in a package, I unpacked it, it was this, it was that. Easy to assemble, not easy to assemble. Got it together, it worked great or didn't work great. I thought maybe I'd do a little different try video. Uh, and I'm not a videographer at all, so you can laugh all you want to. But there you go. There's the dish I reassembled. I should have took some video of it or pictures while I was assembling it, but there it is. Um, let's get over here, maybe. See the difference? There's the 90 centimeter. There's your 1.2 meter. Right there. Now I'm going to move this tripod around. Um, as far as the dish goes, yes, it will definitely, I mean, I don't know. Look at this very good solid I mean that is thick it's not chintzy made um, trying to get where I want to be here on this but uh, my hand tied up in that here's your mount um, right there okay, you can see how that's mounted on there I would uh, my thing I'll do different with it when you want to adjust this up and down for your elevation you've got to loosen both these bolts these nuts here on both sides and there's nothing to pivot it with so it can get all crazy and the numbers don't match up right if these holes ain't matched up so that's why I've got this little dowel rod stuck in there yeah I was going to put in a steel bolt like a 1024 or something. Find one long enough to stick it through there. Um, let's look around here. See, there's how it is. Um, you can see right now I'm pointed at 125 west, but for me it's gonna be different. But you can see how low this thing's pointed down. Um, but yeah, there it is the mount. If you always wondered about it, that's another thing I want to do. Hey, video. I wonder what that thing really looks like up close. Well, there you go. Um, focus that a little better there. Let's see how close I can get it. Here. There you go. I'm manually focusing this camera because it don't uh, does not like to autofocus on video very good. But that's that. And come back around to the front here. Again, you can see it. Uh, very well made. It's designed here. They don't have your typical mount like a lot of people. Whoa, tripod. A lot of dishes. Like here, let's just jump around. Make everybody seasick here. Okay. See the uh, Geosat Pro 90? How that mount is. Slides right on a tube. Okay. Now let's come back over here. And see, that's made different. This can still, of course, mount on the motor. But this gives you more variety of mounting options this way um, but like I said I still want to put a bolt through here and I also want to if I was gonna put this on a motor I've got it on stationary pole here it's concrete in the ground if I were going to put this on a motor I would get me another can you see it? these are you clamps here I would get another one and uh, I will get another one to stick it in here. Now it's got a fine elevation adjustment here. Um, I don't know. I didn't ever use it, but I've got it most of the time here lately fixed on 125, and that's where it stays. Sometimes I'll bring it over to 103, but I'm not really that big into. Everybody's like, where's the camera going? Not really that big into NBC, so it really don't care. Um, 
for my personal use. Okay, now let's get on to the, uh, with it he also sent the uh, SL, what is it, the SL2 uh, BLT uh, twin LMBF. You know what I'm going to do? Let's do this. Take this off the tripod. Okay. Um, get that focused. Here's it. You can see it's a dual uh, 10 point. Look at this. Maybe. There's specs on the top right there. It's just standard local oscillator 10.7. Um, 10.7 uh, 10.75 uh, or 10.750 as most people call it in kilohertz. Uh, of course, 10.75 is a megahertz or uh, gigahertz and megahertz. I'm thinking a ham radio. Okay. Um, and you notice too with this one. You notice too with this one the uh, how small this is here. It was done on purpose this way. Uh, they designed it so that you could put it in a clamp. And put two of them really close together to get four degree easy separation. Some people was getting two degree separation depending on your dish size. Um, as opposed to say, you know, like uh, one of these here. I don't like that focusing there. Oh, that's what I've done. Okay. As uh, you know, really normal looking LNB, 3KU LNB. That's how it looks right there. You know, yeah, everybody's like, yeah, I know that. Okay. And you can see this is more slim lined. It's like there it is. Um, so as far as performance, um, really, I compared it with the uh, SL1 PLL, the phase lock loop, on the same dish. Of course, right now I got these on two separate dishes, but I took this off. I had a phase lock loop on here. Took it off put on the uh, DRO uh, on my meter and uh, in the house uh, on the receiver uh, you can't really tell much difference as far as quality it's uh, almost identical uh, I really like that about it uh, both sides I tried both sides together tried both sides of two different receivers I don't have it hooked up right now I probably got the solid focus here I'm just yakking here um, Two different receivers tried it. Both ran at the same time, uh, changing channels back and forth, different transponders, and didn't get any uh, problems. Sometimes with uh, dual, you'll get uh, you you can have where two of them you hit the, just the right transponder on one, right transponder on the other one, and one will blank out or they both blank out your receivers. Uh, it seems like it's got really good isolation. A really good gain. I've actually seen it too before where you put it on one and you get a such and such reading on your meter. Move it over to the other one and your meter reading goes up or down. This is matched um, as far as I can tell. I don't have a spectrum analyzers and all that fancy equipment but uh, as far as I can tell it's pretty good and it's matching right up with the other one. So Anyway, I hope you uh, like this a little video. Like I said, it's not very uh, not very uh, professional, but it's really just to, if you don't care about professionalism, you just want to watch it and see it and see what happens. There you go. I see what happens. See what's going on with this and what they look like. So, uh, yeah, it looks like I'm in a lot of trees here, don't it? Look at this. But my satellites ain't that way. <laughs> satellites are over here so all right